You open your eyes with a lurch, and you are not in your bed. You stand above a body which is in a state of gore nearly beyond recognition. The body of that brave girl who earnestly swore to devote her life to your cause. Her blood covers you, and its warmth feels like the embrace of an old friend. You recall nothing of how you ended up here, but your head pounds and aches. to you, the flash of abject terror in her eyes, blood spilling from her lips. No time for last words. There is nothing else here and no one else around. You and the corpse seem to have been alone together for quite some time. No matter how it appears, the body is there, and her blood is on your hands. The question flows through your mind. Who are you, really, that you could be guilty of such bitter business? Something wicked must have woken you. The contemptible pervert within must have lavished slash after slash upon the girl. But where, oh where could that monster have come from? If only you knew yourself better. You don't have much time for reflection now. You need to act. You may only have a few moments before the others awaken and begin to cast blame for the hot sin before you. Deed is bright and clear as the dawning day. Another waif dead before her time. I wonder how it happened. Chuck, he's hoping the explanation is less sloppy than the kill. Now, I can't help but notice that one of us is positively drenched in blood, so... She was brutalized. The killer knifed her many times after she was dead. Was it you? blood didn't get there on its own. Her neck didn't snap by any accident. The parasite must be affecting you deeply. The worm in your head has never slept more peacefully. You know in your heart it was something deeper, hungrier. Even if it was the worm? This was peculiar, indeed. I'll be watching. An uneasy feeling lingers in the air. As the Inquisition departs, you are left alone with a familiar headache. Much is uncertain, but you know one thing for sure. The darkness will strike again, unless you find a light. <laughs>